Now, Ms. Brooks, I want to talk to you a little bit more about your babysitting job for the parks. Sure. Now, you said you babysat Cindy from February of 2010 until August of 2010, right? That's correct. And you babysat Cindy every weekday from 3.30 till around 8 o'clock, right? Usually, yes. So, you spent a lot of time in Sydney Park, didn't you? Yeah, we were very close. I was very sad when she did that. And now, Sydney did once ask you, or tell you, that she knew about the gun, didn't she? What do you mean? Well, she did once state that she knew her parents had a gun, didn't she? When I asked her if she knew it was in the safe, she told me that the gun was in there. So, yes. And when you asked her if she knew it was in the safe, Sydney didn't express any interest in wanting to take the gun out of the safe, did she? Uh, I don't know. She never said anything like, I really want to take the gun out of the safe, did she? No, she never said that. Um, if she actually took it out, I don't know. So, you would say that babysitting Sydney was a blast, right? Oh yeah, it was very fun. Well, you also ended up babysitting Jesse Duran rather often, right? Yes, that's true. Jesse Duran would come home with Sydney almost every day after school, right? Yeah, quite a bit. I guess the parents were on the same work schedule or something like that. And you'd say in all the time that you spent babysitting Sydney Park, the only unpleasant part about it was when Jesse Duran would come over, didn't you? Yes, that's true because babysitting two kids is a heck of a more hard job than just one child. You'd also say that babysitting Jessie Duran was unpleasant because she frequently, you saw her frequently they boss Sydney Park around, didn't you? Could you clarify your question again? You would say that it was unpleasant to babysit Jessie Duran because you frequently saw her boss Sydney Park around, right? Sometimes, and it's hard to see that, but it came and went. It wasn't a huge deal. You would see Jesse Duran scream at Sydney Park if she didn't get her way, wouldn't you? I think she did that like one time. So redirecting to my question, you sometimes saw Jesse Duran scream at Sydney Park if she didn't get her way. I, I think it was only the once. And when you would tell Jesse Duran, she'd say something like, you're not my mom, you can't tell me what to do, wouldn't she? Yeah, she could be a little sassy, but I wasn't her mom. So, so redirecting you to my question, you were the babysitter, that's true. But when you asked her to knock it off, she would say, you're not my mom, you can't tell me what to do. Thank you, Your Honor. Come on, question. Your Honor, this isn't a compound question. This is just clarifying what Ms. Brooks has already testified to and rephrasing my question. So just to clarify, you're not Jesse Duran's mother, but when you asked her to knock it off, she would say, you're not my mom, you can't tell me what to do. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now I want to talk to you a little bit more about some of the things you saw Jesse Duran do. Okay. You would say that Jesse Duran seemed obsessed with guns, wouldn't you? Um, uh, I don't know. So is it your testimony today? that you wouldn't say Jesse Duran seemed obsessed with guns. I mean, in my opinion, I would say that, but I really don't know Jesse like that. I don't know what Jesse's thinking or, or how she would act with guns, so I really don't know. But I, I would say that from what I observed, but I really don't know if she was obsessed with guns. So you thought she seemed obsessed with guns because she would frequently insist on playing games that revolved around guns or shooting, right? Yeah, Sydney did as well. You know, they both played, so. Now, you saw Jesse and Sydney play these games together, didn't you? Oh, well, yeah. And you also saw Jesse tell Sydney, I want to shoot you. Didn't you? No. Is it your testimony today that you did not see Jesse Duran tell Sydney Park, I want to shoot you? No, I did not see her. I was in the next room and I heard her, and it was more like, I'm going to shoot you, you're going to die. Rephrasing your question, you heard Jesse Duran tell Sydney Park, I want to shoot you. Yeah, like I said, it was that singing type of voice. And whether or not it was singing, you heard Jesse Duran say, you're going to die, bang, bang. Ma'am, I've already said yes. So now I want to talk to you a little bit about August 17th, the day before the incident. On August 17th, you went to go babysit Sydney Park, right? Yes. 
And when you got there, Jesse Duran was already there, right? That's right, yes. And about the time you got there, Andy Park left, right? That's usually how it goes. I arrive, Andy leaves. And so that was the usual routine, right? Yes, ma'am. But then something a little unusual happened, didn't it? What do you mean? As soon as Andy Park left, Jesse Duran started screaming, I want the gun, I want the gun, didn't she? Right, I didn't know what she was talking about. So, then she told you, fake gun games are born, didn't she? Right. And then, Jesse turned to Sid and said, Sid, let's play real games with the real gun in the safe. Yeah, she said that. I was totally shocked because Jesse was fine for the last three months, and then she said that. I was so surprised she said that. Yeah. And that was the last time you ever babysat Sydney Park, wasn't it? Ma'am, yes. That was very sad. Any other questions? Are you ready? Are you ready, Brian?